2004 GMC Sierra standard cab. These rear speakers, there are not a lot of videos out there about these rear speakers on the standard cab, on the regular cab. And it's a little frustrating getting this panel off. So I've got the passenger side done. I've got to do the driver's side. So I'm gonna show you what I've been doing. This is the passenger side with the panel off. And it's hard to get the angle on the camera from inside on the passenger side. So I'm doing it from the driver's side and shooting across. But all these slots here, right here, these slots, that is where clips are from your inside panel. I've already removed and replaced my speaker here. And then you've also got all of this baffling here, down here, that was already here. That's all factory down there. And so um, I'm going to, I'm going to show you some more videos and maybe some angles that might help you getting yours off and getting this taken care of. I also had to take the door sill uh, molding off to be able to get the panel off. This panel here has got to come off so that you can pull it up to get to two screws right here. So I'm going to show you on the driver's side as I get this done. First step is to pop this off here. And this is held in by clips. And so I'm going to stick a, a, a pry bar underneath it and pop it up and get it out. Okay, what I'm going to use is a pry bar. I hope this is showing. It's kind of difficult to show it in video, do it in video at the same time. And I'm getting it underneath here, hopefully by the clips. And do just a little bit of pry up. It's not really heavy, I'm not forcing it, and then we slide it out. And there were four clips, one, two, three, four, and they pop into these slots, pop it out, slide it over to the side. The next step is to put some pry a bar into here. There's two clips, there's one on each here, and you got to get them to pop out. So you can lift this up. There's two Phillips head screws right here. All right, I'm going to do this with the hope that it's just videotaping and showing you what you need to see. I'm getting my pry bar here, and I'm finding my clip. I'm getting right beside the clip, really close to it, to pop it out. This is difficult. This is not an easy clip. One. I thought there were two, but there was one. Uh, the other one broke off. So only one clip in this case. And I can see my Phillips screws. So now I get my Phillips screwdriver. It was already broken off. I didn't break it off, but obviously they can be broken off. So I'm pulling it back. You could take the whole panel off if you wanted to. And now, if I pull it back, you can see the two screws removed. And now I can be able to stop popping the clips on this panel here and pull it out. This is the passenger side panel. And so when I'm pulling off the driver side panel, I wanted to see how many clips I've got to get out. And so it looks like I have to have one, looks like one broke off here. One, uh, a second one here. A third one here, this is not a clip. It looks like just, it's flat. Uh, another clip here, another clip here, another clip here, another clip here, way up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clips that I've got to get popped loose before I can slide this panel off.
so you now you got the panel off that probably took about 10 minutes might have been quicker had I not been videotaping the only issue is same thing on the other side happened is that this clip right here right there where is it right there broke off and it did on the other side too I don't know why that one clip breaks off but it did on both of them right but I think I can get it back together and I don't think it's gonna rattle or cause any problems you could try to uh, hot glue it or I don't know put some gorilla glue on it if you really 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 wanted to repair that clip now it's time to replace this speaker and then put this panel back on 